Welcome back, everyone, to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocklover, and right now, we have an attempt on the Emperor's Life attack on the Winter Palace, in which we get what a poor aim, and we get more collective socialists, or we should be concerned about the Emperor's safety, which... Okay, so, it is 1879. Alexander II was actually, in real life, was assassinated in 1881, so we've got to do a few more reforms, or, as, you know, as much as we can about culture and education, economic policies... And demographic and internal budget policies. So wait, so we lost somebody? Oh, okay. Um, so I'm not really sure which one to choose. I guess we should be concerned about the emperor's safety. Uh, what a poor aim. Uh, I guess we'll do that one. It doesn't really matter. Off screen, I've just been kind of just hanging out. Let's see, research speed. Well, we don't need any more stability, so I guess we'll go with research speed. So a couple comments to go through. Uh, apparently, even though we don't have a focus tree right now, and I'm doing consumer goods austerity just so we can produce, 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 because we're already at 71 factories, which is pretty darn nice, I'd say. And we're finishing up just about one more military factory for now. Um, hopefully we'll put that for off. How it says, what is this? Russia political dot four dot D. Autocracy? Oh. Um. I guess it seems like we can retire Alexander the second currently. And get Alexander the third. So I'm going to go with autocracy for now. Yeah. Let's go with that one. But we're just going to get more and more, uh, you know, factories here. So that'll be good. That'll be very good. But yeah, apparently there is another focus street according to you guys, so we'll keep going on, we'll keep chugging on. Ooh, begin the invasion of Geotape. Sure, why not? Where are the horsies? Horsies. Let's get ready to go. And send a representative in Afghanistan. Sure. Oh, it's so the 78 they were supposed to do that. Oh! The, the Raj immediately went to whoa. Um, I'm not sure we really should spend our political power there, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to wait because we don't have any. We can't really invade yet, so I'm mean, gonna guess technically we can, but we have no soldiers down there, so that would be making a lot of sense. These are just a little bit ahead of time. Honestly, it's not too bad for construction speed, factory output. Okay, 10% more. That's pretty good, but that's like more than a year and a half away. So, all right, nothing here, and then electrics and instruments. Anything there? I love doing tax but we're gonna have a lot of things done and we're getting more daily air xp so that's actually really good as well not bad socio-economic humanity stuff we did invent communism or research communism so that's cool colonial ambitions obviously we're not going to get very much because we're russia so there's not a whole lot that we can do so i think we're just going to try to get some more uh, air stuff maybe some more air doctrine or air speed and we'll do some naval stuff too so let's let time go on and invade these guys down here Let's see, someone recommends we take land from the Turks in China, especially Vladivostok. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. No guarantees. But I would like to go to war with the Ottomans again, because last time we destroyed uh, pretty much, well, we killed off all their men in their army. And I made, of course, I made the mistake of having too many men in my army, so supplies was really bad, like right now. Which is not very good. Of course, they have level 5 supplies. That's not too bad, actually. Level 5 is pretty good. But, yeah, that was my mistake. It's just, I want to make sure we do well. And if I have to... Make our divisions extra thick. So be it. So be it. Um, when can we invade, please? Not saying too much here. We can subsidize the Russian shipbuilding industry. Uh, yeah, you know, we got more than enough naval XP. Why not? Nothing else really here. We get more political legitimacy, but we're already at 85%, which is fine. Prove military prowess. Well, it doesn't take away our army XP, so that's okay. Sevastopol. Uh, diplomatic stuff. That stuff. Kiel... Canal preparations? We don't own Kiel Canal, the Kiel region, so... We don't own Schleswig or Holstein. When does this finish? Colonization stuff? Huh. And we still have all this stuff. So not too much else has happened off-screen. So, yeah. I'm really wondering when this is going to happen. How is the Raj? They're slowly winning, it looks like. They have a lot of manpower. Afghanistan. Dost Muhammad Khan. Graveyard of the Empires. Okay, wow. Plus 30% division defense on core territory. Holy crud. But yeah, like seriously, I would like to go to war with the Ottomans again and just completely destroy them. So, that's probably the goal. And I've just been researching a lot of things off screen. Not too much, honestly. Like, Actually, uh, which one do we need? For the focus, I'm, I'm still just waiting to get this one. So we need the 1880s protected cruiser hull. So that's what we're working towards right now. Ironclads are nice. 1880s protected cruiser hull. So we need that one. So let's grab this one. Early protected cruiser and then 1880s protected cruiser. Okay, so when can we go to war with them? Invasion of Merv. Oh, okay. Um, 
Okay, well, it doesn't seem like it's going in at any time. I'd like to take out Afghanistan proper, but it looks like the Raj is doing that, which... I don't, is that historical? I thought they set up Afghanistan, especially this unclaimed territory region, to be like a buffer between the Russians and the British. You know, I, in the last video I said that they weren't doing well. It looks like the typing Heavenly Kingdom is doing really extremely good right now. Wow. Led by Hong Tiong Gui Fu. Hong Tiong Gui Fu. Wow. Still a million manpower versus... About a, little bit, a little bit less than a million manpower under Empress Dawagar Sishi. Wow. Keep building, 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 building. And we'll get some more reforms done too. Also, like as as, as you saw the end the last video, uh, some of these guys popped out after the Ottomans lost the war. So, not too bad. Same automatic experimentation. Not bad. Uh, we grab not that. Not that. Not that. I guess horse lumber because we can't. I'm not going to use it, but I guess we can. Uh, Serbia is looking pretty okay. Albania or the Prizren League is looking looking all right. And the Bosnia Islets as a puppet of the Austro-Hungarians, not bad. Montenegro is there too. And Romanian United Principality is looking pretty good. But I do have a cup of coffee to keep it nice and warm. And yeah, people, some of you guys still recommend we keep a good constitution. Uh, I would like to. I really would. But there's nothing we can do about our constitution at all. Um, yeah, we can't change these. I mean. As far as I don't know, we can't change them, so we already saw that before. We're secular still, too. So, yeah, not really much. Feds restricted. What is this one? Placeholder? Placeholder, okay. I can't give them elections. I can't do any of that stuff. I even gave them a general committee for this one. Let's see. Jury court we've got. F free assembly. we got free press. We have a secular state. We've got compulsory education. I mean, all this stuff is looking pretty good. Eight-hour workdays. Peasant holdings. I mean, we will probably increase the military budget as well. Actually, you do get more attack and defense, huh? But you lose consumer goods, so even if we don't do that, I think it'll still be okay. Demographic stuff, stagnation is fine. Border control, I think that's okay as well. I think that's just fine for now. No borders it sounds pretty... Not great. Hmm. Full equality, of course. We have suffrage, parliamentary suffrage. Which you might be actually able to go to rich suffrage, universal male suffrage. Universal suffrage. Well, you get worse ideology drift of fence. You get more stability, though, in the end. And better cost, so maybe universal suffrage before this guy dies. Maybe we'll do that. Banish his parties. Maybe we'll just go open politics, right? Just go open politics. So, so the, biggest one, the biggest ones we need to do are just naval infrastructure and suffrage. So let's see what, what we can do anything about this. Because we're not getting anything regarding Central Asia again, which kind of sucks. So if that's the case, I don't want to have any more attrition here. So I guess we have to wait and see. And also Finland has not yet rebelled. Oh, Russia stands united. That's that's great, guys. So yeah, even though they say they can, hopefully they actually cannot. So yeah, just gonna hang it out. Commander died. Get some more war support for about a week. So about one percent more. That'd be nice. And let's see. Discriminatory laws, freedom of assembly, freedom of press, religion, child labor. Ooh. Early protected cruiser holes. Uh, you know what? Just go and do that one. So we get the tech done as fast as possible. Naval infrastructure. Suffrage. Well, screw it. Why not? National funerals are gone. So, with all the reforms we've done, um, is there anything else we could do? Like, I mean, if I'm giving literally everyone universal suffrage, y you think... You'd push for maybe... You'd be liberalizing at a pretty steady rate, right? Right? Attempt on the Emperor's Live. Trade bombing. Tactical decisions. Oh, boy. Hey, we're almost done with that one. We're halfway done with that one. That's not bad. Oh, what do we have here? We have some recon balloons, which is... You know, it's okay. You know, doesn't give that much air superiority. That's okay. <clears throat> and then we also have what? Horse limber? Eh. I don't think... I don't know if that's worth it or not. So, early protected cruiser holes. Pro I don't want to use prototypes. Early unprotected. Well, I like using protection, so that's probably good. But unprotected probably is a light cruiser, yeah. And also, we are building up, you know, corvettes and light iron holes. Ironclads. So, that's not too bad. So, this one is our capital ship, perhaps? Oh, no, that's, that's our screen. And I think this one's our capital ship for now, so... I mean, the AI does not do anything with naval, you know, 
upgrades. So, by having 52 armor on this bad boy, and a relatively good amount of speed, because a lot of the ships only have sails, and the range, I mean, obviously the range has been cut down to, like, from, like, 20, 12,000 to a little less than 4,000, but I think it'll do okay. Uh, unprotected, huh? What, is it just normal? Oh, no. Even the early, oh, these are the early protected ones. Okay, so those are the protected ones. What about the early unprotected ones? Hardwood. You get medium batteries. Medium batteries, which is basically your cruiser hull. So that's okay. And this one is oil turbine. Yeah, see, so we go from 2600. Uh, 2700. That's not bad. Even I'm not even sure I'm going to use these. So, I mean, like. So far, these uh, Corvettes, I don't even know really the naval meta in, you know, end of new beginning of the time of this recording, but even this one, max range is pretty bad, honestly. Like, it's pretty darn bad. But, sail mass. So, you can go much slower, but get a better range, but, I don't know. I'd rather have the speed. I'd rather, I just, I just rather add speed, so. Um, we're going to get better ones of these anyway, so it doesn't even really matter to us too much. So, okay then. I'm a little disappointed that this decision to attack these guys didn't work out for us. Uh, Romania? Are you okay, Romania? Wow, it looks like a giant mess. Hope the Raja dies. But I want to kill off the Turks. Like, that's my goal now. That's definitely my goal by the end of this episode. Or not this episode, but this campaign. Get rid of the Turks. Um, Drago Mirov. Ashok Artemievich. Turku Glov. 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 Totally no Russian. Totally, totally, totally. Oh, almost over that one. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, let's get some more research done. And I would just do fade and fade outs, but at this point, like, it's almost 1880. I don't see if there's anything new. Because in 1881, this guy goes bye bye. Unless he dies before then. So. Look at that. Universal suffrage. Not bad. Mm. Oh, another battleship. Look at that. Cool. And a late ironclad hole. Nice. It's kind of slow, but that's alright. Because you guys are down there. Well, since you guys are already out, just go and train. And go home. Consumer goods is so good. Actually, that's, consumer goods gives us what? 5% less consumer goods as well as... Oh. Uh, lots of black consumption, which is, which is actually very beneficial as well. By enacting austerity programs in a country, we'll be able to save some industrial budget. Nice. Hospitals. Nice, we got that one ahead of time. Pretty good. Uh, okay, aviation. Um, Air XP. That wouldn't be bad. I guess we we'll go for electrics next. Base. Construction speed. Let's grab that one. Yeah, and factory output would be nice. Since we're still lacking equipment. So. And does... Is this... Is this supposed to happen? Uh, how long is the Southern Rebellion supposed to ex uh, last here? For Because it's taking forever. Well, the speech. Argentina. Cool. <clears throat> I have a million manpower. Egypt invites us. Sure, Egypt. But happy 1880, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Oh, the Kingdom of Italy has no manpower. Southern... Well, wow. That's a lot of unrest. They have San Marino as a puppet. So, when are they supposed to unite again? 1870 elections. Well, it's 1880 already. I'm sure they already did all this. A true peer of Europe. A bonus to construction. Oh, do we get anything else here? I guess the vest more... Wait, why do we go from 110 to 75? I thought they were at 100. Um, okay. Hey, we made another military factory. Hey, we got the protected cruiser hull. Finally, we can do the last focus there. Good. Very good. Armored cruiser hull. Let's go back over here and just do everything we can. Cool. So as much as I hate taking this off, we can finally hopefully do Imperial Alexander as the second class. We plan to develop a new type of battleship, a ship that dreads not. Yay! Very good. That sh it should be really, really, really strong. But, I'll uh, do something else. I will show you it when we get there. Alright, everyone. So, nothing really major has happened yet. But I do want to say a few things. Just because, apparently, the Raj white pieced out with Afghanistan. And they didn't take anything. Even though the... What is this? The Karputala state has... Is doing very, very well against the Raj. With no manpower, apparently. Um... Actually, see, Raj is still looking pretty strong. Uh, can't really tell what they have. They have up to 12 divisions. Wow. Uh, but, yeah, they're not looking too good. But we are able to research 
colonial ambitions. Pretty cool. We might actually be able to colonize. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But I wanted to show you guys that we're going to advance the machine area. <clears throat> Your country will advance the machine area. This will require you to have made significant advancements in industrial buildup and scientific research in the areas of mechanical engineering, process engineering, biochemistry, and electronics and devices. The earlier you want to advance to the next era, the more advanced your country will have to be. Cool. So we have to research a whole bunch of stuff already. So let's go ahead and advance and see what happens. Anything that happens, we can advance to the oil era. Oh, complete industrialization. Look at that one. Our industry needs to move forward and towards more efficient methods of production. We've researched machine tools too, mechanization or mechanical production too, factory industry too, and more than 10 factories. Great, 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 great. Even though I think we've had another assassination attempt off screen or uh, technically on screen, but um, nothing really bad has happened, maybe except for slightly more radicalization attempts. But other than that, I've just been sitting here and I've been starting to slowly make a few more steel mills just because we're out of steel. Let's see. Yeah, we're out of steel, so I decided to make one or two, so... Other than that, we're doing pretty darn well. 15, 15, 3. Not great, but it could be a lot worse. Um, but yeah, uh, we will have probably... If this is historical, more historical, then we'll have our Alexander II hopefully die on March... Sometime in March, I think. Was it March or May? I think it was March on 1881. It is what it is. And look at that. We're industrialized. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we'll see what happens when either we... Get another assassination attempt, or we get another major event. Alright, so I shouldn't have faded in, faded out, but apparently the Heavenly Kingdom won. Earlier today, rebel forces seized Beijing and forced the Qing government into exile in the north. The Tibetans and Mongolians have also taken a chance and declared independence. The new emperor has claimed the mandate for themselves and looks to cement the rule among the other regions of China, subduing those who refuse to kowtow to the new empire. One China is like another. A journey of a thousand miles begins at one's feet. It's the end of a mandate. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen this before. So, the Great Mongolian State, oh, uh, you look a bit Hoi Four like and the Qing Pretender State. Um, that really sucks for them. That really sucks. But, I can't wait to beat them up and take, out, take away their ports as best we can, but that is, that is wild. Whoa, weekly stability in Warsaw goes down. Oh, man. Oh, Alexander II and his mistress. Today, his Imperial Highness married his beloved mistress, Catherine Dolgokarov. This has unfortunately displeased many courtiers who have always had a negative view, but His Highness loves her nonetheless. Those courtiers need some convincing of Catherine's good intentions. The courtiers will keep their mouths shut. Oh boy. A uh, rebel spirit failing. That's not bad, actually. Uh, minimal mandate, of course, is not good. But okay, that's kind of really, really wild. So I guess we'll see what happens in uh, the future. All right, so the Alexander II has been assassinated, and we get Russia LAS.3.8. But unfortunately, no matter what we did, we still get Alexander III for some reason. He's a staunch authoritarian. He's iron-fisted. Um, and for 180 days, we lose legislative power gains, stability, and war support. So even before, like we we disinherited our heir. So uh, I mean, I could try it again, but uh. Our current heir will be disabled. It's probably not going to do anything for us, but look for an heir. Yeah, why not? Um, I, there's nothing we can do, though. So I guess we're forced to have Alexander III no matter what, which I think is a big, big mistake. But I guess it is what it is. So we've got a new tree now with, hopefully, hopefully is there a new tree? Hello? New tree? Hello? Where are you? Um. Okay. We have electric arc furnaces, which is cool. Uh... So, mechanical engineering, we're, we're pretty much already done with everything here already. We're pretty ahead of time. And, uh, as you can see, there's a little modifier, not modifier, but, you know, numbers at the top of the screen here. And, uh, yeah, we've been colonizing a little bit. They said Russia couldn't colonize, but they never met Russian Horn of Africa. So, rare earth elements would be very nice to have. Very, thank you very much. Even though I've kind of forgotten to do the, I haven't really forgotten, but we just need to do some army tech. Oh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Oh, 82. Let's grab that one. More stuff to tech is nice. So, yeah. We colonized, you know, Somalia, Djibouti. Oh, good areas to colonize, of course. But, yeah, no matter what we, we, we try to do... Oh, we can reopen that. That's fine. We just... I don't know. Just... We couldn't get rid of, uh... Uh, you know, Alexander the Third as the heir. Even though we just, you know, got rid of our heir earlier. So... Yeah, we're very, very railroaded in this mod. Oh, hello. Whoa, what the heck is going on up here? Okay, that happened all... I mean, I got told that we would have a border raid down here against Gelady, but... 
Um, okay. I did send these two horses down there, but hope we don't lose this. That would suck. But hopefully we get some a new focus tree sometime. I think some of you guys did say we get it in the mid-1880s. But there's only so much time you can dedicate to a mob that just, just has nothing to do for like 10 years at a time. Uh, that's that's a bit of a long time. Not having much to do here. So we'll see, I guess. But I mean, I don't mind colonizing. Colonizing is fine. It takes a lot of political power, though. But stockpiles looted at the border. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, that really sucks. Uh, I guess you, you, you do. That's fine. So now you show up? Jeez, you guys suck. You guys really suck. But two division should... Well, how are you not suffering from attrition? That is insane. That, that's not even a court... Well, that's not even a court territory piece. So, Igla raiding party? Hold on. Har -ar. So that's fine. Alright, so we got people coming down there, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't want to lower you by too much more. Uh, you guys. Give me three of you guys. Come down here and help. Come down there. Good luck. You're going to need it. You're going to like the way you look. So, yeah. Not much has really been happening around here for too much. I mean, just... I've been able to colonize a little bit, which is actually very nice. But some of the stuff might... And we can't colonize this for some reason, too. So, yeah. What about Zanzibar? No? So, yeah. It's very weird. Sometimes you can colonize. Sometimes you can't. Uh, I don't think this is... Oh, and also, for this one, I did go, instead of doing just colonial subjugation, I did go with native cooperation, just because I thought that would be maybe a little bit better. So, yeah. Yeah. 1880 howitzers, why not? Sounds like a good idea. But, unless there's something else major here, I guess I'll see you when we're just kind of doing stuff. But, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nothing's really happened, so... I think this is the end point of the campaign, just because literally nothing is happening. I mean, I get it that the devs are working on other stuff, they don't have all the time in the world, which is totally fine, totally understand, but... I kind of wish it would be like an end date saying, oh, we're, we're out of content, you know, come back when we update this, you know, a few months later. I kind of would appreciate that if there was, just because I'm, I've literally just been sitting here staring at the screen. Actually, been, I've been doing other stuff, like off screen, just glancing up once in a while to do some more tech, just because there's really nothing going on here, and uh, we've built up a good industry, it's not bad. And I have actually have, for the most part, more than enough supplies, except for cavalry equipment for some reason, probably just because we've been getting hit by a lot of... Uh, African tribes. And I've been killing thousands of Africans down here in Africa, which has been a lot of fun. That's probably my favorite part. But at this point, I'm pretty much done with the campaign. But let's finish it off. Maybe going to war and struggling a little bit, maybe. Just because I want to finish off the Ottomans once more. So maybe we can go with Allow Diplo for now. Just to have a little bit of fun. They're out of manpower, and I want to make sure we fix stuff up from, from last time. Wait, why, is those, why are those guys in there, huh? So I'll see what happens. I really want to see what happens, especially when they have no map bar. Obviously, we don't have a lot of supplies, but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. So, this is how we're going to end the campaign, just because there's literally nothing here. At the end point here, so. And if I have to, so, that's really disappointing that even though it says we can do stuff over here, we cannot. Which is big sadness hours. Big, 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 big sadness hours, so. And we've let it and took it at the capital. Not bad. Um, actually, I might recommend you guys go this direction, maybe. Not bad. Come on. Come on. And then I want everyone else here, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come on down here when you can. And then 1, 2, 3. I must throw them all down here, right? And with you guys. Let's go and do that. You might get encircled, but at this point, I don't really care. Opposition returns, whatever. Hey, you sunk eight Corvettes, nice. Good job, guys. Eight Corvettes, very cool. Uh, so hopefully we're blowing up a lot of enemies. 14,000 have died, very good. Very, very good. Anything else? Um, No, not really, no. Head on in, boys, if you can. Convoys go boo. Boo, 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 die, die, die. Um, Not bad. And did we have a claim on these guys? I thought we did. Gillip, please. Nice to have. Let's go back, maybe, perhaps. Make sure we get some supplies through here. Ottoman League is to call those people in. They have up to 29 divisions, but we might get encircled, actually, but whatever. What the hell are you doing? Go back this way. Commander died. Whatever. 
Move in, move in, move in. Oh, and now you don't get supplies. Now you can go die now. Alright, Angora would be nice to get. Keep forcing them to die, everyone. Because they have no manpower. Which is fun, which is good. We've, we've killed 30,000 of them, but not nearly enough. We need more dead. More dead enemies, please. Ah, oh, supply issues. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Like, they'll just sit there and take supply issues, which is not a fault of the mod. That's just toy port in general, but, you know. Yeah, kill every single one of them off. This is for last time, you pieces of garbage. Can you, can you just move? Just move. Good. Find them and kill every single one of them off. 48,000. At least they don't have any map power, which is good. You find them, you get rid of them. And also, I did give these guys a, a little bit more supply issues. Just, uh, actually, no. I was with the horses. I gave them engineers, I think. I think I gave them engineers. Well, we got in circle. That sucks. Too bad they're going to die now. Literally just die there. Good. Uh, supply issues. Come on down, guys. Come on. Mobile bases. So, yeah. And we'll do some War Admiralty. Oh, okay. Oh, we got him already. Nice. Not a bad ending to the campaign, I suppose. I could take Vladivostok, but I don't really feel like it. I just want to take out the Ottomans, so. Cool. Not bad. Russia's looking pretty strong. Uh, I guess War with the Rivals gone. But we still have war with a couple people. But, like I said, that's going to be in the campaign because I'm tired of looking at the screen for like an hour and literally nothing is happening. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.